and how the market's done. I don't know when the party's over, who knows, right? But for simplicity purposes, let's just say this, the market does three things. It either goes up, it goes down, or it stays flat. Everyone agree? Yeah. Right? In my opinion, the stock market is a lot like a casino. And here's why I say that. In the market, it's up, down, or flat. In a casino, it's win, lose, or draw. draw right? And you ever hear the term, the house always wins? Yeah. Well, we know how that works in a casino like Fox with the Mohegan Sun. Anyone want to guess how it works in the Wall Street casino? One word. Fees, right? As long as they are charging fees, it doesn't matter if the market's up, down, or flat. They're going to get their money. Everyone agree? So when the market goes up, we don't mind paying fees. But if the market goes down and you have to pay a one, one and a half percent fee, does that bother you? You lost my end, you paid the fees, right? But understand how the game is played. As long as your money's in the market, they're making money. So every piece of advertising or every piece of advice from someone who is making money by you keeping your money in the market is going to be to stay in the market. Would that make sense? And that's just understanding how the game is played. Nothing wrong with having money in the market. You just need to understand, no one's gonna ever tell you to get out of the market if they're financially benefiting from it, right? But what I will say is the one difference between a casino like Foxwood and the Indian Sun and the Welsh Casino is the amount we're gambling with. See, if we go out for a night of entertainment, and my wife and I sometimes do, we only take the money we're willing to lose. $20, right, honey? Uh-huh. <laughs> yup. Go out for night of entertainment, maybe see a concert, have a nice dinner, right? It's not a big deal. One way or the other, it's not life-changing. But, you know, the people in Wall Street have convinced us to take our life savings, our 401ks, our IRAs, that money we have to plan on living for the rest of our life, and put it in the market and take risk and pay fees. You know, so we're just gambling with a lot more money, which is a little bit concerning, right? And the way they've done it is by marketing. They send out messages, and everybody's trained in the business to say the same thing. In fact, on this page, you'll see a few things. For example, on this page, you see where it says, over time, the market outperforms everything. Everybody, anybody ever hear that before? From an advisor, from TV, right? Well, it depends on the time. If you're looking 50 years, absolutely. But I can show you some 10, 15, and 20 year periods that that is not true. How about this, in order to be safe, you must be diversified. Anyone hear that one before? Yeah. Right? Well, here's the thing. If you are diversified in all different mutual funds, you are diversified, but you're not necessarily safe, because when the market goes down, what happens to all the funds? They go down, right? So if all your money's in risk, all your eggs in one basket, it may be a diversified basket, but it's not necessarily safe. Now, I'm going to talk a lot about safety tonight. I want to be clear. My definition of safety is we do not lose a penny of our money. Everybody clear on that? If you agree with that, we're going to be a great fit. And I would absolutely say, check yes, come see me, because we're going to be able to help you, because that's what we focus on, on safety. Now, another one, paying fees is normal. Now, you know, they have us convinced in order to be in the market, we have to pay fees. But I will tell you, and this is, again, the Cliff Young story, you don't know what you don't know. There are financial vehicles and products on the market today that do not have fees. Now, there's some trade-offs, but they do not have fees, meaning 100% of your money goes to work for you, and you don't lose it when the market goes down. And I'll go over that tonight. And then the last one is this. You know, if you're in the market and you should expect to get gains when the market goes up, what else should you expect when the market goes down? Loss. Loss, right? So they have us expecting that losses are okay. I don't know about anyone else in this room. I love when the market goes up. Who doesn't, right? But I can do without the downside of the market. Anyone else agree? Yeah. yeah. You can take the downside away and only be left with the up or the flat. Would that be good? Yeah. yeah. And we'll tell you that's what our clients enjoy every single day. We'll show you how we do that for our clients. Uh, for a portion of their money. Not all for a portion. But let me ask you this. If someone is 60, should they be invested the same way they uh, the same way as someone who's 30 years old? No. No. Right? Why not? Uh, and the whole story about 2008, right? They don't have time to recover from a catastrophic loss, which seems to happen 
not counting the last 10, 12 years, because it hasn't, but past history has shown it happens every five to seven years, right? So there's strategies we use as we get older, just like when we're planning for college for our kids, we plan for that college planning. Retirement is planning. And in retirement, we're either in the preservation stage, we want to grow without going backwards, or in the distribution phase, where we want to last our money, we want income, and we want our money to last a lifetime. You know, but again, you know, all these things these financial experts say, again, Cliff Young, right? The experts. He didn't listen to the experts. He won the race. Because all these things they say are clearly designed to keep us in the market. And it's called conditioning. If you hear a message over and over and over again, what starts to happen? Even if it's not true, you start to believe it. 